To create the double exposure effect in Photoshop, we need to first of all select the person from the background. And we can simply do this by going up to select right at the top and then go down to subject. And what this will do is it will create a selection around the person. All we got to do now is we can go down to the mask button right near the bottom and this will mask out the background. So from here, all we have to do now to create ourselves the double exposure effect is to go down to the half filled circle and get yourself a solid background. We're going to get ourselves a white background or any color that you want and then go ahead and press OK. Once you've got yourself a solid color, we're going to move this one underneath the person and we're going to get ourselves another image. Now, before you get yourself another image, you want to make sure you are selecting this one so it will put it on top of the image when we import it into Photoshop. So go ahead, get yourself any image that you want. So for the example of this video, I'll be using this one right here of the mountain. And you just want to left click, drag this into Photoshop. And we're just going to, first of all, go ahead and double left click to apply it. We're going to press the five key on our keyboard to lower the opacity to 50%. And we can once again, control or command and T and we just want to scale this up and make sure it fits the person. And I would say somewhere right about here would be okay. Go ahead and double left click to apply it and you could press zero to set this back to 100%. So the next thing we want to do is we want to hold Alt or Option key and then left click in between the person and the image that you want to mask it onto here. Now the cool thing about this is that once you've clipped the masking onto the one below, you can readjust this, you can reposition it if you wanted to. So as you can see, if we wanted to, we can scale this up a little bit more. Now at the moment, there's no effects or anything special going on. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to go over to the effects, which is right here, and you want to set it to the screen. So this is the one that actually creates the overlapping and the double exposure effect onto the image. But the only thing is at the moment, you can see that it overlaps everywhere and some areas, for example, the face and the arms look a little bit odd and they don't really stand out. So what we can do to correct this is we can get ourselves the brush tool. We can select ourselves a black color, make sure that we are onto this image right here and we can get ourselves a mask onto this one. So now that you've got yourself the mask, you also want to set the brush to 0% for the hardness and 200 pixels for the size. You can also lower the opacity to 50% and this just softens it up a little bit more than normal. And once you've got yourself the brush tool, all you gotta do now is just left click and only apply it to areas you want it to be visible. So we want the of the glasses right here just to be a little bit more softer same for the face we just want to blend it in nicely and make these areas stand out from here we can also increase the scale for the brush itself and then just really soften the edges onto here making them blend in nicely like so and there we go so now that you've got yourself the blended areas and you've made the face and the other facial features stand out. What we can do from here is we can go to the first tool. And at the moment, it looks a little bit plain and boring. It has the double exposure effect, but there's nothing much exciting going on. So to fix this, all we have to do is go to the adjustments, which is right here. If you don't see it open, you can go to window and you'll have the adjustments right here. Once you're in the adjustments, we're going to start off with the brightness and contrast first. So with the brightness and contrast, before you start to apply it, you want to make sure that you clip this on to the layer below. And once you've done that, we can then start to lower the brightness to something like minus 56. And this just makes things really stand out and really pop. But we also want to increase the contrast all the way up to 100%. You can then go ahead and minimize this once you've applied the changes. And as you can see, it looks a little bit better. But the only thing is, it's also lost a lot of color. So what we can do from here is we can either apply ourselves a solid color or we can get ourselves a gradient. So if you go to the half fill circle, you can go to gradient. And in the gradient, we're going to left click on here. And the one that I use for the video 
is the reds and it's the zero five, which is this one right here. We can then minimize this and press OK. Now that you've done that, we can go onto the effects and set this one to color. Same as last time, once again, hold Alt or Option key and then clip this on to the layer below. And as you can see, it looks a little bit better now, but it looks a little bit washed off the colors. They don't really stand out. So once again, get yourself back into the adjustments and you want to get yourself a hue and saturation. Same as last time, clip this on to the layer below and we're just going to increase the saturation all the way up to 100%. And that just makes the colors really bold and really stand out. We can then minimize this. And finally, the very last thing that we can do to bend these colors and make them stand out even more is we can get ourselves the final adjustment, which is going to be back into the adjustments and get yourself a curves. Now, if you've never used the curves, it's really simple. You have this line which you can edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, left click near the bottom to get ourselves a point. And we're going to set the first one, which is going to be the input to 62 and the output to 42. So this is just going to give it a lot more contrast. We want to apply one in the middle as well. And for this one, we're going to set it to 132 and the output to 120. We can also apply the very last one, which is going to be near the top. And you want to set this one to 196 for the input. And then for the output, you want to set this one to 200. And there we go. Once again, make sure you have clipped this one underneath all of these and you can minimize this. And there we go. As you can see, you have now got yourself the double exposure effect with a cool gradient, which makes it look really interesting. And the great thing about this is you can always readjust this if you wanted to. You can always go back into the gradient and you can change it to any other color if you wanted to. So let's say you wanted some purples. You can just change it in here and you can get some really cool looking effects. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We are so close to getting 100K. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.